I'm good with my tone. There is no need for you to split it. Hey, Power Director peeps. How y'all doing out there? My name is Malik, and I'm back on your screen with more Power Director love. You know, the Power Director love you're looking for from Power Director University. Today we're going to be doing a tutorial on split toning in Power Director 16. So let's jump off into the software and make it happen. Here we are in Power Director 16. Before we get started, I want to remind you guys to subscribe to Power Director University to see great tips and tricks just like this every Saturday. Let's split some tones, people. Let's split some tones. Split toning is used for adding dramatic effect and unique color grading to your videos. It's achieved by adding a color to the shadows or adding a color to the highlights of your video. So there's several ways to get to the split toning feature. You see, I have a clip down here in the timeline and it is a clip of some people having some fun on the lake. Just Doing their leg thing, people just doing their leg thing. So the first way that you can get to the split toning feature is you can right click on the video clip in the timeline. Go to edit clip keyframe. And then go to fix enhance. Once you do that, you can scroll down here on the side until you get to a section called split toning and under that section it will have all of the different parameters that you could change to apply split toning to your clip so i'm going to close this out another way that you can get to split toning is you can right click on the clip go to edit video slash image go to fix enhance And then here on the left hand side under the enhance section, you'll find split toning. I'm going to close this out. And then the final way is just left click on your video clip while it's in the timeline so that it's activated. And then you can just go to fix enhance. And then over here on the side, once again, under the enhance section, you'll find split toning. So I'm going to go ahead and enable split toning by clicking on this little box here next to split toning. And when I do, you see that the different parameters I can change are now available to me. So I'm going to add orange to the highlights of this video to warm up the footage. So you see here that on the highlight section, the little box here, and if I click on that, I get to choose a color. So I'm going to go here and I'm going to choose this orange here and I'm going to go ahead and click on OK. Now I can use these sliders to change the level of the hue and the saturation. The hue slider controls the color that's being applied. So I can move this over to the left or to the right and I'll go ahead and just move it right here for now. And the saturation slider controls the intensity of the color being applied to the highlights or the shadows. And so I'm going to bring the saturation down here a bit. And I like that there. And then we have balance. So the balance slider controls the balance between the highlights and the shadows. When you move the slider to the right, you increase the balance towards the highlights. And if you move the slider to the left, you'll make the shadow stronger. And I think that looks pretty good right there. So this has, as you can see, has warmed up the image quite a bit or the video quite a bit. So if I were to uncheck this, that's the way the footage originally looked. If I were to check it again, that's how it looks warmed up with the color applied to the highlights. 
beautiful. So now what I'm going to do is remove the split toning or the color grade that I applied to the highlights. I'm just going to do control Z. So now what I want to do is I want to make the image look cooler. So I'm going to apply blue to the shadows. So I'm going to click on shadows. And I'll go ahead and click on OK. And you'll see that it applied. It looks a little too blue. So I'm going to move this over and use the balance to move it over towards the highlights, which will bring down the shadow some. And I think that looks a lot cooler there. So if I were to turn off the split toning, You see the original image, if I turn it back on, see what it looks like cooled down. You can use any color you want in split toning. I'm just giving you some examples here of how to warm up and cool down the footage with oranges and blues, but you can use whatever colors you want to create whatever type of grade or look or emotion you want to show in your videos. So that is how you apply split toning in PowerDirector 16. All right, Power Director peeps, I want to thank you so much for watching this video all the way through to the end. It truly means the world to me. And now I want to send a shout out to one of our subscribers, Flypick. Flypick makes aerial photography videos on his YouTube channel. So if you're into aerial photography, head on over to his channel, check out a couple of his videos, and if you're feeling what he's dealing, make sure that you subscribe. If you guys want to get a shout out like Flypick did, make sure you head to our video description and fill out our shout out request form. If you have a tutorial you'd like us to make, go to the video description and complete our tutorial request form. Now that I'm done with that, I got a few things I need you to do for me. The thumb. The one that's pointed in the upward direction. Click on it. it Let's people know that the content in this video is good and that they should watch it too. If you got any comments, questions, you just want to chop it up or talk with your boy, leave those things in the comment section below. And last but not least, smash that subscribe button. And after you do, click on the bell. When you click on the bell, you receive notifications every time I upload content to YouTube, and that way you don't miss out on any of the learning and all of the fun. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again soon.